just let me see something about my leaf, okay? Whatever I do, wherever I go, the door will be closed to me. I will walk in the door at first. I will have uh, every access. Everything will be fine. I will participate in whatever is happening in this area, okay? And then these, this family in England has their agents on me. And then they find out, oh, I'm getting somewhere. So they run out with their agents. And then they shut down whatever I'm doing. Uh, they close my account. It's all bizarre. Who knows what happened? And now I have to I have to leave this area that I entered. Okay, so basically, I got this celebrity photography job. A minute later, I was given a car. Hmm. Uh, a minute later, uh, a much larger company bought it. A minute later, there was a huge financial crisis. A minute later, I was maneuvered out of the job. Okay, that's what happened. Okay, so when I got the celebrity photography job, whoever runs organized crime that decided I'm going to be their lifelong political prisoner, unclear why, I'm very honest. Look, I am. So, is it possible that they screamed me as a child and saw that I was extremely honest and shut down my life right there? Is it possible that I be like Moses of this world, right? I think I am, actually. You know what I mean. Some kind of... A street urchin who turns out to the messenger. Mm, sounds like me, right? Anyway, is that what it is? Did the demons know that this um, very uh, deliverer type? Yeah, right. I know. So, th this little girl is going to be the deliverer. But we can't kill her for some reason because they had every chance to kill me. They had every chance to kill me. I was a uh, neglected, abandoned child. I was, oh my goodness, no one is watching me at all, okay? So they could have picked me up at any time. Ha <laughs> ha, see? They could have killed me at any point easily. I was not protected in any way. No, no, not in, not in least. Okay, so, wow, you know? Anyway, they could have killed me, they didn't. I, organized crime, whoever runs organized crime out there, I don't have my theories. Woo! You guys had a lot of chances to kill me. So if they didn't kill me, all those chances they had, wow, and they had a lot. Because I was at the beach alone all the time. That was my favorite thing. It was to find some place where nobody was at the beach and then just be there alone. That was my favorite thing in life, truly. Until lately, <laughs> that was my favorite thing. Go find the beach where nobody's at and then pretend it's mine. That's what I always did. So they had every chance to kill me. So that says a lot. That was the easiest way to kill somebody, is that way. Uh, when there's uh, organized crime all over the Hamptons and little beaches with nobody at it but me all over, okay? So they had every chance to kill me. They kept me alive. They paid for me, okay? But for organized crime, I would not be alive right now, okay? Because I was their pet. I was their slave. I was not to be too severely mistreated, but I was to be completely cut off from all opportunities. I could never become famous. I could never reach the public. Anything that was going to lead to my fame was completely shut down. But I will say, in organized crime's defense, <laughs> right, oh my goodness, I was pretty well treated, all things considered. I, so they could have killed me any chance, okay? So, so I do feel sometimes a little bad about what I'm doing because, look, but for them, I wouldn't be here. That's what's so complicated. But they can't run everything. And I, listen, I had a lot of time with these agents. I know who they are as people. Yes, they have demons. No doubt about it. They have strong demons. But there is a person in there. And if I could even with child handlers. Oh my goodness, I said the name. Cut it out. Oh wow. They have handlers? Who knew that? That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory, racism. Anyway. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, I know that even those people, terrible as they were, they treated me better than my parents did. So I don't know what's going on. And that's the truth. My handlers from this uh, Luciferian crime di dynasty treated me better than my parents. And I thought about that many times. Because I knew these were bad people who sent to do bad things to me and to destroy my life and to demoralize me and to drive me to suicide and to uh, shut down my relationships, shut down all my opportunities. Yes, they were completely destroying my life. But at the same time, they were actually very generous and smiley with me. And you know what? <laughs> That's a lot more than I can say for my parents. See what I'm saying? So when you have these literal Luciferian agents from satanic banking coming to shut down your life and be your personal wardens, and you're like, you know what? But they're actually a lot nicer than my parents. This is the truth. I thought this so many times. I was like, you know, as bad as they are, 
they treat me actually a lot better than my parents. I guess because they were employees of some kind of a crime dynasty and they had to like handle me a certain way. But I, listen, I'm Princess Leia here. Think about it. <laughs> what Princess Leia is um, caught, right? She's caught by the Empire. All right, she's got to get out. Look at me, I was caught by the Empire. I, ha I have to get out. See, I, the more I get into Star Wars, the more I realize it's a mirror of my own life. Because what happens next to Princess Leia? She is maneuvered into becoming a concubine for a mafioso, right? Next thing, she's the, the slave girl of Jabba, right? So the, the freaking Empire captures her. That's what the Empire captured me. And then maneuvers her to becoming a courtesan to a monster. That, they did that to me. Okay, so Star Wars predicted my life before it happened. So, a George Lucas, I have a feeling you are listening. Because <laughs> we both like Joseph Campbell too much. So, he cannot be here. Anyway, it's incredible. So Star Wars, as much as I loved it, respected it, I was obsessed with it a little too much, loved it. I saw the truth was in Star Wars, so this Star Wars taught me the truth, but also taught me my future before it happened. How horrible. What a life. I've had a horrible life, really. Anyway, so let me talk about my horrible life. So any music that I create, anything that I ever accomplish, will never be distributed because this organized crime dynasty uh, controls all distribution and they will never let me have distribution. Therefore, I created, I made up a couple songs. Created is a strong word for what I did. <laughs> right, these songs are pretty bad. But they're, they're so bad they're good. I have to admit that. Anyway, so I came up with a couple songs. I put them on uh, Amazon. SoundCloud. I, I knew that they were going to let it through, but then block it on their end because they can't let it through. So they come back to me and they're like, oh, we're going to come up with some made up reason for, to block you because you, uh, you know, sneezed on Tuesday or something. They always do with me. Okay, so SoundCloud could have done with that with me. And SoundCloud has treated me horribly. Unbelievable. Oh, this night even start with that one. But seriously, and you have grudges like this against every single thing on the internet because they have mishandled you. You realize all of these platforms are working for this one crime dynasty. No question about it because they behave the same. So when they say it's different companies, it's not different companies. It's different brands on the same company. Okay? It's all one company because they all mistreat me. So what happens? This is exactly what happened. They let it through. They didn't give me one of the BS pre talks, but then they blocked it at Amazon in the sense that if you say Alexa Miranda Mermaid, you know, play Miranda Mermaid, it'll, it'll play Miranda Lambert, okay? But it's totally set up to play. So you say Alexa Miranda Mermaid, and it'll, it'll pretend you said Miranda Lambert. And, and, do you understand? Nothing else in Alexa operates like this. Okay, fine. So I made a, a video about how it's so difficult to get it to play my songs, Miranda Mermaid. So if you ask Alexa to play Miranda Mermaid in this video, after asking it like 10 times, it will play Miranda Mermaid. Okay, so tonight I go to Alexa. Will it play Miranda Mermaid after I ask Alexa literally 10 times? No, absolutely won't. It will just, pre it will, Alexa will play dumb and pretend you said Miranda Lambert. And you'll say, why won't you play Miranda Mermaid? Play Miranda Mermaid. This is, I was not supposed to be 100% set up to play this, but they're going to block it on their end because these companies all act as one. 